maybe we should talk about U equals U now before we get into specifics about uh, uh, choosing a regimen. Um, you know, U equals U is simply a, a um, I think, a new term that basically just stands for undetectable equals untransmissible or untransmittable. And it's one that actually, in many ways, was generated in the community and then was actually um, the scientific individuals like Tony Fauci at the NIH and Robert Redford at the uh, CDC uh, also can, approved it because there's great data behind it sure. that says that it's all very true. I mean, I think some of the most powerful data are the, are the, are the partner one and two studies mm -hmm. that really show how hard you can stress an undetectable person's ability to transmit by having them have unprotected condomless sex with their partner on repeated occasions with ejaculation and have no transmissions, yeah. both heterosexual and homosexual. And I think that's really very powerful. And, and Eric, who is this important for, do you think? Um, I, I, I personally think it's mostly for people who are in a discordant relationship, a stable relationship. I think it's, you know, the message is important for everybody. Sure, There's right. no reason to withhold the message, but the practicality is that if you have lots of people you're exposed to, it's impossible to know what their status is. Sure. Um, so, I mean, I think it's for people in stable relationships. Yeah. They can feel comfortable that they don't need to use condoms as long as the partner is stably suppressed on I, I, I think <coughs> I think it's for the person who's that's infected. Right. Yes. Oh, my yes. God. That's, 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 right. that's right. It, 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 regardless of the, even the relationship, because it's so stigmatizing yeah. to think, you know, you hear these stories about uh, <coughs> people that, you know, are transmitting HIV all over the place. On the other hand, most of my patients... Terrified. You know, talk, terrified that yeah. they might give this to someone else. And, and to me, that's oh, the, yeah. the... Oh, yeah. I mean, I there's a the public health message. So, so but, our, but, our, our social workers describe patients who start crying yep. when they hear that this yeah. is the scientifically proven fact, that they can go on treatment and become uncontagious to others. You know, they just... The, the, the stigma yeah. lowering, you know, I think that's why it's so important that this actually came from the community in many ways, mm -hmm. is that what we see in terms of biologic stopping transmissions and treatment equals prevention is interpreted very differently in the community in terms of how it makes people who are HIV positive feel. For years, I know in the gay community, there has been a very strong prejudice against HIV positive individuals within their own community because they're HIV positive. And this really sends that away because they can't transmit the virus anymore. So they no longer can be stigmatized. I think it's a little more difficult in some other communities, but you know the message should really continue to be put out there. The other place that I think it has value is when you're counseling that newly infected person. Yep. That the whole discussion about trying to engage them, get them on care. Now we can tell them that not only will they be able to initiate therapy that's simple to take, well tolerated, and will always suppress their virus to undetectable levels, and that they'll presumably live forever from an HIV perspective on treatment, but they also don't have to worry about transmitting to their partners. Sure. Yeah, no, I think that's, that's we, exactly right. We have cities like New York and San Francisco that have city getting to zero programs where they hope to at least level off the number of new infections or have gone down. at, at gone some down. point sure. no new infections. So that's the public health and benefit. That's of this right. Year, and this and so there's a huge public health benefit to this. This is a major component of every getting to zero urban campaign or right. rural campaign. And you have to assume any reduction we're gonna see in incidents, you know, we think we've seen a reduction, any further reduction is gonna be completely driven by getting people diagnosed on treatment and getting high risk people on PrEP. Prep. Yeah. Right, right. right. And, and doing it in areas where, where we know there's transmission. We, the, the, uh, recently the CDC uh, presented data that 50% of new infections in 2016 we're in 46 counties Amazing. out of, I forget counties. how many counties there are. Yeah. There, there's like thousands yeah. of counties in, in the U.S. And yeah. so, so again, uh, yeah, I think that hot makes, there, there really are hotspots where we can really, really focus this.